Assalamualaikum. I am Dr. S. M. Mitu Jaraman. Welcome to all of you today's master class on heart failure management. Today we are going to join lecture two diagnosis of heart failure. As you know, heart failure is a very important and progressive disease. In cardiovascular disease, very important things. We uh, just few days ago we discussed on pathophysiology of heart failure. Now today we will want to show the presentation diagnosis of heart failure. And today's keynote speaker is our renowned cardiologist and uh, clinical interventionologist, Dr. Vaughan Shofiko Rahman Patori. Sir is working as a associate professor, cardiology department, National Institute of Cardiovascular Disease and Hospital. Uh, sir, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to presentation. <coughs> Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, thank you, Dr. Imtiaz Rahman. And dear audience, and today, um, uh, we are we discuss on master class on heart failure management. This is lesson number two. Our today topics is diagnosis of the heart failure. In previously we discussed uh, about the pathophysiology of heart failure, and today we discuss the dia diagnosis of the heart failure. Heart failure. Before going is, to yes sir, yes sir. Uh, before going to core presentation, we want to share. Uh, today's uh, masterclass is sponsored by SK Pharma Limited and scientific partner Imazit, Imaglifuzin and media partner Meditalk Digital. If you have any question, uh, you will ask our question in comment section, uh, both Facebook and YouTube also. Sir, please continue. Uh, thank you. Uh, dear audience, we know that uh, there is diagnosis of any disease. It requires three things. One is the Metricular CT taking, HT is very important for the diagnosis of any disease. Next one is examination findings. And third one is the investigation. With these three combination, we try to uh, conclude a diagnosis of a disease. Um, and the heart failure, it is a one of the clinical symptom syndrome we know that and it is the presentation of the different cardiac disease. So first we diagnose the heart failure. Later on, we need to diagnose the causes of the heart failure, like coronary artery disease, that is macular infarction, or non-ST or ST elevated macular infarction, or it may be due to the valvular heart disease, it may be due to the myocardial disease also. So first we need to diagnose the heart failure. Second one is the second step is the cause of the heart failure. Third step, uh, we found that some precipitating factor is there for aggravation of the symptoms of the heart failure. For this reason, we also need to ident identify the factor which is responsible for the acute exacerbation or acute decompensation of the heart failure. Now, uh, before going to the diagnosis, we previously know that what is the heart failure? It is a clinical syndrome of symptoms and signs resulting from the structural and functional impairment of ventricular filling or ejection of blood. That means ventricle cannot fill properly as well as it cannot eject the blood properly. And we know that heart failure is uh, one of the important disease and widespread disease. And worldwide, we found that 21 million adults are suffering from the heart failure. And economic burden uh, over the worldwide cost for the heart failure management is it is $108 billion. And mortality is 50% of the heart failure patient is die within the five years from, from the diagnosis. And if we see the rehospitalization status, it is the number one cause for the rehospitalization more than 65 years says. That is positive also a beshi boyashe jara ase, tadar ketra amma dekhi je odikyang sho manushi heart failure in jinnu bhutti hoche. Next, we also found that comorbidities, that is uh, more than, that is three or more comorbid condition is associated with the heart failure. And next, uh, if we 
understand the heart failure for the management as well as for the diagnosis we know the ejection fraction what is ejection fraction it is the percentage of the blood that is pumped out of your heart during each beat it is 550 to 70% and uh, before going to the diagnosis of the heart failure we know the classification that is the standard nowadays all the societies that is european society of cardiology and american heart association all of them adopted this classification for the latest management of the heart failure and this classification is on the basis of echocardiogram that is left ventricular ejection fraction heart failure with reduced ejection fraction if left ventricular ejection fraction is less than or equal to 40 percent and heart failure with me mildly reduced ejection fraction if the heart left ventricular ejection fraction is 41 to 49 percent preserve ejection fraction heart failure with preserve ejection fraction if left ventricular ejection fraction is more than equal to 50 percent with this ejection fraction also need signs symptoms signs symptoms of the heart failure as well as evidence of that is increased left ventricular filling pressure what is the evidence of increased left ventricular filling pressure we know that at the end of the left ventricular filling there is a and left ventricular and diastolic pressure is there if left ventricular and, and diastolic pressure is more than one six that is 16 millimeter mercury it is elevated left ventricular uh, filling pressure we also measure by the um, by pcw that is um pulmonary capillary waste pressure if it is more than uh, 13 millimeter mercury we found that left ventricular filling pressure is high and it may be measured in the cath lab by the by some catheter also by the echocardiography and the echocardiography uh, we found that um, some evidence uh, we also calculate the left ventricular filling pressure if left ventricular filling pressure is increased also natriuretic peptide level also increase in the blood and for a diagnosis of the heart failure we also need to staging of the heart failure that is in which stage is patient is it is stage one is this a b c or d in which stage so during the diagnosis we diagnose the heart failure next question in which stage then it is a this is normal there is no symptoms but pressure is in the risk of the heart failure heart failure so in this patient has no symptoms normal exercise capacity normal left ventricle but there is a, some risk factor is there patient may go into the heart failure it is to be a symptomatic left ventricular dysfunction patient have no symptom normal exercise capacity but abnormal left ventricle and but patient has no sign symptom of the heart failure sutra stage a among b the kono sign symptom thake na shadhan the heart failure c among b hocche heart failure er stage c te amra dekhi je abar c er ekta group ache je compensated heart failure er patient je patient er kono symptom nai tar pore tar exercise capacity kom ebong abnormal left ventricular function a decompensated heart failure also in the stage c patient have a symptom or more decrease in exercise capacity abnormal left ventricular function stage b that is stage d is the refractory heart failure so when we diagnose a heart failure we need to staging of the heart failure whether it is a b c c compensated c decompensated or d stage later on also need advice functional classification of the heart failure patient when you diagnose a patient with heart failure next another question is in which anvis functional class is present class 1 no limitation of physical exercise is the class 1 no symptom on ordinary activity in this group of patient poor prognosis class 2 slight limitation of physical activity symptom on ordinary activity prognosis bad class 3 
mark limitation of physical activity symptom on less than ordinary activity class 4 inability to carry out any physical activity without discomfort then this patient having the symptom at rest this is the very bad situation class 4 so first we diagnose the heart failure next need the stays next also need the which functional class patient is in later on cleave classification also there then if the patient admitted with the heart failure in the hospital we try to know in which cleave class stage this patient is it even stage one is patient having the no heart failure symptom no clinical signs of the cardiac decompensation but this is the in stage a and b stage two cliff stage two heart failure patient having the heart failure symptom diagnostic criteria including the crepitation or rails in the both lung fin and s3 gallop pulmonary venous hypertension pulmonary congestion with wet rails in the lower half of the lung field in stage three severe heart failure patient having the frank pulmonary edema with rails throughout the lung field that is crepitation in the both lung field and throughout the whole lung field in stage four patient heart failure with cardiogenic shock that is sign including the hypertension patient having the blood pressure less than 90 millimeter mercury systolic evidence of peripheral vasoconstriction such as oliguria cyanosis and diaphoresis is there so after diagnosis of the heart failure we need the staging that is SEC staging need next we need uh, the patient in which functional status the tenuous functional class also need the cl cliff classification of the patient in which cliff classification patient is it next one let's say after diagnosis of the heart failure next important step is need to identify the what is the cause of the heart failure why heart failure this patient and also need the risk identification risk factor and the patient having the hypertension obesity that is patient may have the diabetes mellitus also patient have the atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease is there if this disease is present patient may go to the heart failure and if uh, this risk factor is present patient is in stage a or uh, that is clip classification one or in the uh, that is nos functional class one and next uh, for the identification of the cause that is two important category of the cord one is the ischemic category that is coronary artery disease which is represented as a macular infarction angina also a call that is unstable angina another group is non-ischemic non-ischemic like valvular heart disease hypertension myocarditis cardiomyopathy stage cardiomyopathy uh, uh, and also some infiltrative disease like amyloidosis sarcoidosis hemochromatosis heart rhythm related problem like tachycardia mediated that is uh, heart failure and also some endocrine disease and metabolic disease also causes the heart failure and some genetic disorder inheritance disease and rheumatological disease immunological disease may also cause the heart failure sometimes chemotherapy agent cardiotoxic medication may causes the heart failure so we need to identification of the cause of the heart failure as because if we identify the cause we also treat the cause and by treating the cause, we sometimes we promptly cure the heart failure. And next, next important aspect is the uh, to identify the precipitating factor, which um, causes the acute decompensation of the heart failure, and which is responsible for the rehospitalization, repeated hospitalization. So, need to identification of the common factor which precipitate the heart failure these factors are acute coronary syndrome uncontrolled hypertension atrial fibrillation and other arrhythmias additional cardiac disease like endocarditis acute infection like pneumonia and urinary tract infection 
non adherence with the medication regime and the dietary intake and anemia hypohypothyroidism medication that increase the sodium retention like non steroidal anti inflammatory agent and medication with negative anotropic effect like berapamil and we need to identify this factor for treatment of the patient and we uh, previously i told that for the diagnosis we need the meticulous history history of heart failure history of cause of the heart failure history related to the preceding factor comorbid conditions need next physical examination uh, of the heart failure next lab investigation by this way we uh, reach the diagnosis of a heart failure patient and symptom there is a common symptoms related to the heart failure we found that uh, typical symptoms are breathlessness orthopnea parxenema nocturnal dyspnea um then fatigability tiredness and also ankle edema and now uh, these are the typical symptoms that is patient shashkoto thake durbolota thake age hartte parte ekhon hartte pare na tar ratre shuli dekha jay shashkoshto jeno boshe thaka lage ei je samoshya gulo ba paaye pani asha jogular venous pressure bere jao ar minor amra kichu specific symptoms amra jodi dekhi shei khetre amra pacchi je jemon amra paaye jogular venous pressure raise amra pacchi hepato jogular reflux থার্ড হার্টসন বা যেটাকে আমরা গ্যালোফ্রিদম বলি পাওয়া যেতে পারে আবার অনেক সময় আমরা দেখি যে হার্টে কার্ডিও ম্যাগালি থাকে অ্যাপিক্যাল অ্যাপিক্যাল বিটটা শিফটেড থাকে টুয়ার্স দ্য ল্যাটারালি এই ধরনের সিমটমগুলো দেখে আমরা ধারণা করি যে হার্ট ফেলিও থাকতে পারে তবে ক্লিনিক্যালি আমরা চেষ্টা করি যে এটা রাইট হার্ট ফেলিও না লেফট হার্ট ফেলিওর বোঝার জন্য আমরা রাইট এবং লেফট হার্ট ফেলিওর বোঝার জন্য আমরা যে জিনিসগুলো দেখি এখানেও কিছু সিমটমস থাকে স্পেসিফিক রাইট হার্ট ফেলিও সাইন আমরা দেখি যেমন সিমটম হইতে ফেটিক উইকনেস লেথারজি ওয়েট গেইন ইনকিস অ্যাবডোমিনাল ব্রিদ অ্যাবডোমিনাল পেইনও থাকে রাইট আপার অ্যাবডোমিনাল পেইন ডিউ টু দ্য হ্যাপাটোমেগালি হ্যাপাটিক কনজেশনের জন্য অ্যানোরেক্সিয়া থাকে নশে থাকতে পারে নেক বেন আমরা জানি টাইট হার্ট ফেলিও থাকলে জুগলার বেন স্পেশাল রেস থাকে এবং নেক বেনগুলি অ্যাঙ্গোর্স থাকে লেগ ইডিমা থাকে ডিফেন্ডেন্ট ইডিমা থাকে পেশেন্টদের আর সাইনের ভিতরে আমরা পেরিফেরাল ইডিমা পাচ্ছি হ্যাপাটো মেগালি রেস জেবিপি হ্যাপাটোজুগুলার রিফ্লাক্স অ্যাসাইটিস থাকতে পারে যদি রাইট হার্ট ফেলিউর হয় এবং রাইট হার্ট ফেলিউর আমরা জানি যে রাইট হার্ট ফেলিউর সাধারণত লেফট হার্ট ফেলিউরের জন্য হয় মেইন কজ কিন্তু লেফট হার্ট ফেলিউর এই সারা পালমারি কোসগুলি প্যাথোলজি আছে পালমারি যদি কজ থাকে সেই লাংস ডিজিজের কারণে রাইট হার্ট ফেলিউর হয় নেক্সট হলো আর আমরা এই সারা থেকে হার্টের যেমন ট্রাইকাসিড ভালভে যদি কোনো প্রবলেম থাকে বা পালমারি ভালভে কোনো সমস্যা থাকলেও হয় কিছু আমরা দেখি যে डिफेंडेंटिमा নেক্সট হলো লেফট হার্ট ফেলিউর লেফট হার্ট ফেলিউরের ক্ষেত্রে আমরা যে সিমটমগুলি পাই সাধারণত রেসপিরেটরি কমপ্লেনগুলো বেশি থাকে কারণ পালমারি ডিমা ডেভেলপ করে লেফট হার্ট ফেলিউরে যেমন ডিসনিয়া অনেক জার্সান পার্কজন নকসানাল ডিসনিয়া অর্থপনিয়া টেকিপনিয়া ফেটিক অ্যাংজাইটি কাফ হিমোপ্রাইসিস এবং সাইনের ভিতরে আমরা যেটা দেখি যে বায়োলেটারাল ভেজার কিপিটেশন বোথ লাঙ্গে কিপিটেশন পাওয়া যায় পালমারি ডিমা আমরা যাকে বলি আর হচ্ছে লেফট ভেন্টিকুলার গ্যালোফ্রিদম আমরা পাই প্লুরাল ইফিউশন থাকতে পারে সেন সেন স্ট্রোক রেসপিরেশন থাকতে পারে আর লেফট সাইডের হার্ট ফেলিউর পেশেন্টের দেখা যায় এই ধরনের মানে একটা প্রেজেন্টেশন নিয়ে পেশেন্ট আসে যে রেসলেসনেস কনফিউশন থাকতে পারে পালমার নকসানাল ডিসনিয়া এলিভেটেড পালমারি ক্যাফিলারি ভেনাস প্রেশার কাফ ক্র্যাকেলস হুইজ থাকতে পারে তারপরে ব্লাড টিং স্পুটান অর্থোপনিয়া টেকিপনিয়া এক্সেশনাল ডিস নিয়ে সায়ানোসিস নিয়ে পেশেন্ট প্রেজেন্ট করতে পারে অ্যাকিউট হার্ট ফেলিউর মানে হচ্ছে পেশেন্ট দেখা যাবে একেবারে খুব বেশি শ্বাসকষ্ট হচ্ছে পেশেন্ট মানে সিভিয়ার ডিস্টেস যদি বেশি থাকে তখন আমরা তাকে অ্যাকিউট ক্রনিক হার্ট ফেলিউর দ্যাট ইস পেশেন্ট রেসপিড ডিস্টেস বা টলারেবল 
some patient having their symptomatic but heart uh, left ventricular function is decreased these are the symptoms of the heart failure cough is due to uh, pulmonary edema that is in the alveolar edema and pulmonary congestion for this season cough and jbp we know that how measures the dbt for in the 45 degree angle and we measure from the external angle to the upper limit of the jugular venous pressure it is uh, four centimeter from the external angle normally and the, for the diagnosis of the heart failure uh, history and examination findings after that we go for some laboratory investigation and laboratory investigation um, we uh, there is um, there is many laboratory investigation is there but european heart association and american College of Cardiology, they recommended some class one indication of in this, in this class one, a recommendation for the in investigation. And I, I, uh, uh, I also uh, seen this, um, uh, present this uh, guideline recommendation. Before guideline recommendation, we said the common investigation we prescribed for the heart failure patient are that the ECG, access test, PVU, and complete blood count, urine analysis, serum electrolyte, including calcium, magnesium, blood urea, nitrogen, and serum creatinine, blood glucose level, fasting lipid profile, liver function test, thyroid function test, cardiac troponin, B-type natriuretic peptide, blood gas analysis, as well as transthoracic echocardiogram, hemoglobin A1c, iron study, and cardiac magne magnetic resonance imaging, is recommended in those with poor acoustic window with an echo or in patient with suspected infinitive cardiomyopathy, hemochromatosis, left ventricular non-compaction non or myocarditis. That is a cardiac MRI sometimes required for the um, for heart failure cause identification of general darkana. Jaman Jikati echocardiography uh Dachana. But the kind of one of the infiltrative you know, disease that the very sarcoidosis, amyloidosis, hemochromatosis is in a condition like the cardiac MRA president for the diagnosis of the cause. The so, echocardiogram, it a electrocardiogram is a common investigation. That a patient to the heart failure near Shamra Shavara get a ECG the Kadim just account is the key that is the number the key is ischemic change that the T inversion, ST depression, ST elevation. Old market infraction, or the recent time I evidence that the arrhythmia, that the atrial fibrillation, ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, some form of the cardiomyopathy is now are tachycardia related. Left ventricular has block, and right ventricular has block, and the right ventricular has right ventricular has block, and left ventricular has block. This is the official rule of the electrocardiogram. Shadrana is normal ECG. Heart failure rugi ashata, very unlikely. I'm rather the cometicular slammer the key. There was a corner connector finding something in the page. The very easy next down air connector finding slammation as the very tail fibrillation. That for chest exes with the mercury. Shadrato, um, the other heart failure take the heart attack to borrow it again. Cardiomegaly under the take away. The evidence of pulmonary venous congestion dilated or upper lower vein dilated. Plural effusion thectable. Even after the detector exit the Gitake, you know, either an attack number of the public heart enlarged in turn bus diameter than pulmonary decades of a congestion thake. The pulmonary Najetus pulmonary artery among pulmonary venous congestion, cardiomegaly, Carly's B line, either under the decades of chapel edema, land congestion and fissure number five. Next to the number echocardiogram, echocardiogram and Madam Ambra, uh, Manikup important of echocardiogram, the current holo, Botham and Ambra Zotoglu guideline, the Kishawai, Lebedukle ejection fraction, the Kin to classify Korach heart failure. The heart failure is classified by the ejection fraction, it is heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, heart failure mildly reduced ejection fraction, 
heart failure with preserved ejection patient. Mainly, this is based on the echocardiogram and ejection fraction of the left ventricle. For the decision, echocardiogram is a very important investigation. It also helps for the identification of the cause, like valvular heart disease, congenital heart disease, myocarditis, and ischemic heart disease can be identified by this echocardiogram. And I, um, I also told previously that is ejection fraction is the important single most important measurement in the heart failure and also a wall thickness, LB function, that is motion, bulb, bulb function also seen in the echocardiogram. And this is the hypertrophic obstetric cardiomyopathy. Sometimes this hypertrophic obstetric cardiomyopathy may cause the heart failure. Mainly, it causes the diastolic heart failure. In the hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, the wall is more thick than the normal. And these are the guideline recommendations. Which one is uh, first uh, for the diagnosis of the heart failure? Uh, that is, American College of Cardiology, they recommend history and physical examination. This is a class one recommendation. As well as some laboratory investigation, they recommend the class one, that is, complete blood count. Why complete blood count? They told that most of the guidelines told that anemia is the important factor related to the heart failure. And it is as a comorbid condition, it as a precipitating factor. So complete blood count is a very important investigation. Next, urine analysis. That is, renal disease is more common with, um, that is, heart failure. Serum electrolyte, serum creatinine, burn, glucose, serum lipid profile, liver function test, iron study, and thyroid function test. This is the class one recommendation. If any patient suffering from the heart failure, they need to do this investigation. Next, 12 lit ECG, ECG for the optimal management. For the patient presenting with the heart failure, the specific cause of the heart failure should be explored using the additional laboratory tested for appropriate measurement. Like uh, uh, we suspect patient having a coronary artery disease. We need the coronary angiogram. Sometimes patient, we suspect that patient may having the sarcoidosis or amyloid disease. Patient may need cardiac MRI. MRI. So if you suspect the specific disease, we do the specific investigation. And by this slide, uh, this is also from the American Heart Association. And use of biomarker. That is, we use the biomarker is the tool biomarker is used for the heart failure diagnosis. One is that is B type natriuretic peptide, that is BNP or N terminal pro BNP. Another one is cardiac profonin. In a patient with a dyspnea, it is mandatory that is class one recommendation that is BNP and N terminal for BNP must investigate. That is, you must prescribe for. BNP or N terminal pro BNP to exclude the other cause of the dyspnea, that means for the confirmation of the heart failure. Next, if the patient is hospitalized for the heart failure, class one recommendation is BNP and N terminal pro BNP level must assess for, for estimation of the prognosis of the patient. If this marker is very high, this prognosis is the prognosis is bad. If the, if the patient having that is chronic heart failure, also they recommend the BNP and pro BNP level for the risk stratification of this patient. Chronic heart failure. If its level is high, patient may go to the acute in chronic. For this reason, it is also this in case of the dyspnea, in case of the hospital heart failure, chronic heart failure, BNP and pro BNP is the class one recommendation. And in case of the patient with which are the at risk of the heart failure, that is, uh, that is stage A and stage A and B. In this patient, it is 2A recommendation, not class 1 recommendation. And chest X-ray. We know that chest X-ray is the class 1 recommendation in the heart failure patient. 
ट्रांस थोरासिक इकोगार्डन इज अ क्लास 1 रिकमेंडेशन कार्डियक सीटी एमआरआई स्पेक्ट पेट दिस वन इज द क्लास 1 इफ इकोकार्डियोग्राम इवैल्यूएशन कैन नॉट बी सफिशिएंट फॉर द डायग्नोसिस इफ इस्किमिक हार्ट डिजीज दैट इज कोरोनरी एंजियोग्राम इज रिकमेंडेड फंक एक्सरसाइज एंड फंक्शनल कैपेसिटी टेस्टिंग इज जोनो 6 मिनट वर्क टेस्ट और दैट इज कार्डियो पल्मोनरी एक्सरसाइज टेस्ट is recommended this on the class 1 recommended uh, in patient with that is those who are heart failure heart failure for the assessment of their functional capacity patient having the heart failure. they need 6 minute part test and also that is cpet for the assessment of the excess capacity and in this slide we uh, show the some specific investigation for a specific disease which causes the heart failure like coronary artery disease this is the number one killer disease in the world nowadays every three patient is die due to coronary artery disease and so coronary artery disease it is presented as macular infarction angina arrhythmia ne present korte pare मैगनेटिक another important cause of the heart failure heart failure with previously uh, that is preserved systolic function heart failure benign hypertension or pulmonary edema ni patient present korte pare e heart failure hypertension ke diagnosis korar jonno amra kichu investigation amra kori jemon hocche 24 hour ambulatory blood pressure monitor kora jete pare renal artery angiogram that means sometimes renal artery stenosis may be related next the valvular heart disease echocardiogram is the important test for the diagnosis of the valvular heart disease patient may present with the dyspnea palpitation arrhythmia for the arrhythmia like atrial tachycardia ventricular tachycardia need ambulatory ecg monitoring that is 24 hour halter monitoring amra kore thaki এসআর ইলেকট্রোফিজিওলজি স্টাডিও করা হয় যেমন এরিথমিয়ার জন্য ডব্লিউ পি ডব্লিউ সিনড্রোম উইথ এসবিটি যদি থাকে আমরা যখন দেখি বা ভেন্টিকুলার টেকার্ডিয়া সেই ক্ষেত্রে ইলেকট্রোফিজিওলজি স্টাডি করে অ্যাসেসমেন্ট করা হয় নেস কার্ডিয়াক যেটা হচ্ছে কার্ডিওমায়োপ্যাথি এবং কার্ডিওমায়োপ্যাথি বিভিন্ন ভাবে প্রেজেন্ট করে যখন پیشنট হার্ট পেইন নিয়ে আসতে পারে डायग्नोसिस and many disease is there for uh, that is they causes the um, uh, heart failure for specific disease we do the specific investigation and in summary the amra summary te ashi je kibhabe amra tale ekta heart failure rogi jodi ashe kibhabe amra ekta diagnosis risk korbo jemon jokhon ekta patient ashbe je heart failure niye heart failure ni ashar por amra তার যে জিনিসটা আমরা দেখি যে তার রিস্ক ফ্যাক্টর গুলো আমরা অ্যাসেস করার চেষ্টা করি তার সিম্পটম এবং সাইন গুলো আমরা দেখি সিম্পটম সাইন গুলো কোরিলেট করেছে হার্ট ফেলিয়র কি না তার রিস্ক ফ্যাক্টর গুলো আমরা খুঁজে আসছে কি না নেক্সট হলো আমরা একটা ইসিজি করি ইসিজি করার পর আমরা একটা ধারণা পেলাম যে তার হার্ট ফেলিয়র হইতে পারে নেক্সট ইনভেস্টিগেশনই হচ্ছে আমাদের হলো অ্যান টার্মিনাল প্রো বিএনপি অথবা বিএনপি অ্যান টার্মিনাল প্রো বিএনপি একশো পঁচিশ ন্যানোগ্রাম পার এম আর হচ্ছে বিএনপি লেভেল থার্টি ফাইভ ন্যানোগ্রাম পার এম এল এ যদি উপরে থাকে 
তাহলে তো মোটামুটি আমাদের ডায়াগনোসিস কনফার্ম যে পেশেন্ট রিস্পেক্টর আছে সাইন সিমটম নিয়ে আসছে তার অ্যাবনর্মাল ইসিজি আছে আর সাথে হ্যান্ড টার্মিনাল প্রো বিএনপি অর বিএনপি যে কোনো একটা যদি বেশি থাকে আমরা ধরে নিব যে পেশেন্ট ইজ সাফারিং ফ্রম দ্য হার্ট ফেলি যদি এই লেভেল নর্মাল থাকে তাহলে কিন্তু ডায়াগনোসিস রুল আউট দ্যাট মিনস তার হার্ট ফেলিয়র না অন্য কোনো ডিজিজ আমি খুঁজে বের করি না যদি এরপরে আমরা কি করব নেক্সট ইনভেস্টিগেশন ইকোকার্ডিওগ্রাম যদি আমরা ডায়াগনোসিস করতে পারি যে পেশেন্ট হ্যাভিং দ্য হার্ট ফেলিয়র নেক্সট ইউ গো ফর দ্য ইকোকার্ডিওগ্রাম বাই দ্য ইকোকার্ডিওগ্রাম উই ফেনোটাইপ দ্য ডিজিজ ইনটু দ্য থ্রি গ্রুপ that is heart failure with reduced resection fraction heart failure with mild resection fraction heart failure with freezer resection fraction all guideline they are classified by the echocardiogram these three groups for the management purpose that is if there is a preserved resection fraction that is diastolic dysfunction that it is in one way if the patient having the resection rate less than 40% they treat it in the another way for the reason they classified this group and by this classification later on we start the treatment তাহলে আমরা মোটামুটি কমপ্লিট করতে পারলাম যে কিভাবে একটা হার্ট ফেলিয়র রোগী যদি আসে আমরা ডায়াগনোসিস রিস্ক যেমন যখনই আমরা সাসপেক্ট করব তার আমরা হিস্ট্রি নিব রিসপেক্টেবল দেখব অ্যাবনর্মাল রিসি পাবো প্রো বিএনপি এন্ড বিএনপি যে কোনো একটা আমরা অ্যান্টারমিনাম প্রো বিএনপি বিএনপি আমরা করবো লেভেল দেব হার্ট ফেলিয়র রেঞ্জের ভিতরে থাকলে আমরা ডায়াগনোসিস কনফার্ম নেক্সট ইনভেস্টিগেশন আছে আমরা ইকো কার্ডিওগ্রাম कंडिशन Alcidic precipitation factor cannot manage the patient of the heart failure properly. For this reason, we also need the identification of these factors. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. It's an excellent presentation. Uh, uh, definitely, it will be helpful for the uh, patients as well as doctors, interns, and uh, uh, those are uh, asked to re- uh, calculate the, the designation in cardiovascular or medicine or nephrological classes. This will be very much helpful. for this lecture uh, sir uh, if this patient uh, is uh, comorbid it is those are suffering from diabetes mellitus as well as nephropathy and some sort of symptoms of uh, dry cough and uh, congestion in late night what should we do uh, regarding uh, evaluate the heart failure ha khub sundor ekti prashno apni korchen dhonnobad apnake এখন যাদের কিডনি প্রবলেম থাকে রেনাল প্রবলেম যাদের থাকে তাদের ক্ষেত্রে যেমন এখানে দুটো জিনিস আসতে পারে একটা যে তার ইউরিমিয়ার জন্য তার কি তার কাশি হচ্ছে নাকি তার হার্ট ফেলিয়ারের জন্য কাশি হচ্ছে হ্যাঁ মানে এখানে দুটি প্রশ্ন আসতেছে তারপরও যাদের রেনাল প্রবলেম থাকে তাদের কিন্তু রেসপিটের ইনফেকশন হয়ে দেবে পেশেন্ট হ্যাভিং ইনি ইনফেকশন পেশেন্ট হ্যাভিং কার্ডিয়াক প্রবলেম অর পেশেন্ট হ্যাভিং দ্য রেনাল প্রবলেম ইটস সেল কজ ইজ দ্য কাফ so uh, we uh, need uh, taking the proper history uh, also then we go for the investigation investigation include that is if patient having the probian p level we do for the probian p and uh, bnp or n terminal probian if bnp level is more than 35 picogram per dl or uh, n terminal probian bnp 125 picogram per dl uh we um, um, confirm that is near confirm uh, later on we go for the e- ecg correlation we go for the echocardiogram correlation if we correlate that uh, there is a ejection fraction is decreased or there is a diastolic dysfunction that is left ventricular filling pressure is increased we can assess by the echocardiogram like pulmonary arterial pressure is raised patient having the Now that is um, uh, septal and lateral lateral wall e e prime ratio if more than 15 then we confirm that patient having the left ventricular is a left ventricular and diastolic pressure is more than 60 mm mercury by this way 
we uh, we uh, find out this patient having a cardiac problem associated with this disease so patient suffering from the heart failure if uh, we cannot found these things that is uh, ecg is normal echocardiography is normal that is pro bnp and anti terminal pro bnp is near normal also we do the troponin level also troponin level also helpful that is but this investigation um or gives the important clue whether patients suffering from the cardiac related problem that is heart failure or not if um, we rule out this then it may be due to the other it may be respiratory infection patient having the symptoms like patient fever running nose uh, and also that that is sudden onset of the cough respiratory distress this also there and if it is due to the renal problem patient creatinine level is the high sudden deterioration of the renal function so in this way we may confirm the diagnosis excellent sir thank you so much sir for excellent reply uh, may i ask something uh, some patients are suffering from uh, heart failure related symptoms after performing successful performing of cabg what is the reason behind that can you give some uh, suggestion for this region after cabg yes yeah. sometimes patient may have the heart failure and the symptoms of the heart failure also there why that is in in case of the cabg we know that cbg is the uh, one of the uh, that is treatment modalities for the coronary artery disease we bypass the lesion but sometimes we found that if any patient is suffering from the coronary artery disease have the many lesion in the coronary artery if the patient having the diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus diffusely disease vessel if you have so if we bypass the tract there is the one or two lesion may be properly properly we uh, grafted but some other um, uh, lesion cannot be properly grafted it is the one of the reason that is if there is incomplete revascularization is there or blood vessel not sufficient to take the graft A small blood vessel narrow blood vessel plaque burden is very high patient sometimes patient having the ejection fraction low marketal viability is the low before a bypass surgery need to evaluation of the marketal viability after heart attack that is marketal viability is loss sometimes marketal is cord like fibrotic so if you place a graft no no improvement of the left ventricular function so so before bypass surgery we know need many evaluation is there one is whether this bypass surgery is optimal for the patient all um, all lesion may cover by the bypass another issue is the one issue is the whether patient having the viable myocardium or not or patient getting the any benefit by the bypass surgery another factor is there patient having their risk factor is there patient is a smoker patient cannot smoke the smoking patient having the hypertension not control the hypertension patient having the diabetes not control the diabetes patient not bother about the drug dietary habit that is heart healthy habit heart healthy diet and cannot do the exercise properly for this reason if after bypass surgery patient not maintaining the proper lifestyle which is a very much important as well as also need the drug sometimes patient told that i may uh, go through the bypass surgery why i take the medicine i'll completely cure this is the uh, main treatment for the, my patient for the for this disease so why i take the medicine must need the medicine that is blood thinner that is antiplatelet lipid lowering agent beta blocker sometimes diuretics sometimes ac inhibitor arb also needed if ejection fraction is low need arni need lglt2 inhibitor need spironolactone need diuretics also so if the patient going through the bypass surgery also need the proper evaluation proper follow up follow up as well as some other condition like anemia is the one of the important factors patient may be have said anemia 
those who have gone through the bypass surgery, patient having the associated respiratory disease, patient is smoker, COPD is there, patient having the renal disease <coughs> for this region, need proper evaluation and the other causes of this uh, heart failure symptoms. So after bypass surgery, uh, must uh, follow the instruction of the surgeon as well as cardiologist. Excellent, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we are already end of the session. Uh, dear uh, viewers, thank you very, very much for your presentation. And uh, we always welcome to this master class uh, regarding heart failure management. And today we'll discuss diagnosis of heart failure. It's a very important session to diagnose any disease, any sort of disease. We should know properly diagnose the disease. So it's very important uh, discussion today. Uh, and I would like to thanks to our honorable speaker, Dr. Mohan Shopikur Raman Patori, sir, for excellent presentation. And also thanks to SK Pharma Limited and for their brand image it, as well as thanks to Meditok Digital. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, all of today for night. Thank you very much, sir. Assalamualaikum and good night. Well, I can